So all the way back in May of this year, I filmed an announcement slash news video on a way that I really was interested in, in a couple of characters. And I actually had forgotten it had been such a long time with no updates, nobody talking about it. The buzz and hype kind of seemed to have died down for this wave. So I'd completely forgot that I even pre-ordered them. I actually thought a couple months before uh, this package came in this morning, you know, did I actually pre-order those figures? And then forgot about it again. So it was a nice surprise when I got a notification from uh, Star Action Figures that I had a pre-order inbound. And then, yeah, it was delivered. So this is the uh, first unboxing for a Star Wars Black Series figures we've had in a while and it's nice to see the Star Action figure signature green bubble tape bubble tape bubble wrap what am I thinking and yeah I've said in that video if you recall that there were two figures in particular that I was interested in and those were the ones that I pre-ordered so there you can see them just chilling out in the box I'll uh, actually pull them out and we can take a better look at them so just gonna pop this off to the side and here are the two figures in question so the first we have to the left is the Knight Brother Warrior and to the right we have a Flame Trooper so both of these are gaming great figures and yeah really big fan of how these two look in the boxes we both have the iconic gaming great stickers on the front take a quick look at those so let's start with the flame trooper so i actually own a very similar figure to this the snow trooper i think the outfit is very very similar including the uh, headgear looks very very similar but this is from the star wars jedi fallen order to be honest it wasn't a game i enjoyed massively it was kind of like uh, dark souls star wars which does sound good in theory but i just it wasn't really for me i obviously prefer the star wars force unleashed which is currently being played through on the channel but yeah it was it was a fun game and it introduced some cool elements and obviously some very cool characters so this is the first of the two figures. This is, like I said, the Flame Trooper. Comes with the nice blue outline on the side here. We've got a nice detailed picture of him. Bringing it over to the back, we've got a bit of a blurb and the picture again with the Jedi Fallen Order logo. And that is your lot for the box. I don't think this Gaming Great stamp was always there. I'm thinking back to my other Gaming Great figures and I don't remember seeing one in this top corner. So that is it for the flame trooper box let's bust him out and take a look at the actual figure all right so we're just gonna pop the top and slide him out so there we go we got the gaming great sticker on it there it's actually embellished actually on the plastic which is cool and there we have our flame trooper in his plastic shell. So again, very, very similar to the snow trooper, which I unboxed from a vlog video that I did, the first vlog video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. So yeah, let's bust him out of his plastic case in now and take a closer look. So let's start with the accessory. This is the flame troopers flame gun. I was kind of expecting a like wire to go to the back or something. I don't really know where the flame comes from. Usually with a flamethrower, there's a big chunky bit sticking off of it. But you can see at the end, there is a bit of detail and it's painted kind of like a soft orange color. I guess to give the effect of it being heated. There is a bit of a wire there in a tube. And yeah, that is your lot. It's a pretty standard looking gun or flamethrower, I guess we should say, other than the orange tip, which is unique. I don't think we've actually seen a weapon like this out of the Black Series range, so it's always nice to have new weapons. And now it is onto the actual figure itself. So I'm a really big fan of this half mask mold. It's one of the things that made the Hoth Snow Trooper my favorite type of design with this half mask and then the rest of it being this cloth. Getting close, you can really see how the cloth mask works just underneath the helmet got two like respirators there on the side just popping out from the cloth and then the top half is like a stormtrooper mask and he's actually got a helmet just over the top of it 
moving around. He's got this like bronze design going around the side of his helmet. And yeah, I like the uh, different material that they've used. It, I mean, it's still plastic, but it is actually just like a different color. And it looks more fabricated than the helmet and the mask. Moving down to his body, we've got a bit of detail in there. We've got some red buttons and then some just unpainted white buttons in the center. Down to his belt, it looks like we've just got some more unpainted details with some straps. Going around to his back, here we do have, oh, there's a tube. Maybe this connects to the gun. Hold on a second. I probably thought that this did attach to a tube so much because I probably saw it in like some sort of promotional picture for it, but the tube does weirdly attach to the handle of the gun. It just sticks right into the bottom and then connects to the backpack. So just disconnecting that so we can take a closer look at the figure. There's the little tube that goes just let me give you a quick just showed this the first time around just a hole right underneath where the uh, handle of the gun is taking a look at the backpack we've got two bronze bits of um, detailing and a couple of colored buttons there and here are the two tanks which would give the flame thrower its power so it all connects it all makes sense we've got a harder type of plastic down here giving it the like cloth skirt effect looks really well done and obviously in between the bits of armor there is like a different type of material which again makes it look like he's wearing cloth under his armor which is a really nice touch he's got some knee pads on and yeah that is your lot for the flamethrower trooper looks really cool so let's get his gun attached and in hand and we'll take a complete look at him so here is a look at our flame trooper with his gun in hand fits really well looks really nice the articulation on the arms is superb on this figure really really well done and yeah really solid figure it's gonna look cool next to the snow trooper so let's move on to our second figure all right so next up we have the knight brother warrior so again this is from the jedi fallen order really interesting looking character kind of easily mistakable for uh, darth maul's brother it's got that yellow and black look and yeah really really cool looking character on the side here we've got the illustration of him really clean looking moving over to the back again same illustration with the logo and a bit of text about the character and that is your lot for the box so let's not waste any more time and we will crack him out So there is our Knight Brother Warrior out of his box. Let's remove the plastic film in front of him. And yeah, what a, what a cool figure. Absolutely insane looking. So let's crack him out of the plastic and can take a closer detailed look. All right, so we will start by taking a quick look at his weapon. He's got a really unique weapon here. It is, I don't even know what you call this, a four-sided battle axe with a uh, sharp prong in the middle. This thing is really mean looking. Looks like something you'd see in a game like Skyrim. It's really, really mean and sinister looking. Look, you'll definitely do a bit of damage with this. This is definitely not a weapon that we've seen from a Black Series figure before. Got some nice detailing on the handle too looks like we've got something woven around the handle and it's got a little point on the end as well kind of like the uh, points that stand on his head so there's a look at the weapon now moving on to the figure i think obviously we're gonna have to start up at the top on the head of this guy obviously the paint work is what is really standing out about this figure the black and yellow really cool contrasting colors and the spikes on this guy's head it's super pointy and sharp not like you'd uh, come to expect from hasbro i mean i feel usually let down by darth maul's head spikes but these are really pointed and sharp and look like the maul head spikes that we've come to love and yeah this face paint is absolutely mean looking right in time for halloween too take a look at the back it is just black all over 
I mean, to be fair, there's not too much paint bleeding going on there with the spikes on the head, which is good because obviously it's such a small area. I imagine it'd be easy to splash a bit of paint on the spikes, but the spikes are all white, which is nice to see. The face paint is looking very, very clean. I'm not seeing any uh, splotches or over paints or anything like that. Moving down to the body, we've got this nice white detail in the center with the black just going all over looking like a uh, Cenobite goo. Got a bit down here on his wrist and forearm and the same on the other side. He's got a really cool warrior skirt on, sort of like the uh, Darth Maul we recently unboxed on the channel. Really dig that and then some brown pants and brown boots. Got a bit of silver detail in there on the buckle. And as you saw on the back, there's just a couple of spikes up at the top side of the back and down on the bottom of the back. So yeah, that is your look at the Knight Brother Warrior figure. Really, really dig the design of this figure. Looks super clean and the paint job on it is perfect. It's absolutely spot on. Love all of the detailing on the body and the head. So there's only one thing left to do. Let's get his weapon in hand and take a complete look at the figure. Here we go, we got his weapon in hand and yeah, definitely completes the mean warrior tribal look that we got going on. Super cool figure. So that is going to do it for our gaming greats figure unboxing today. Appreciate you stopping by. Make sure you leave a like down below if you enjoyed today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.